good morning i am sarita from department of english spc government college ajmer students let's continue with our yesterday's topic that is orwell's essay shooting an elephant yesterday we talked about the key concepts presented in the essay by george orwell and today we are going to discuss the summary of this essay as i have already told you that this essay shooting an elephant is one of the best and most popular essay of george orwell it deals with his experience as a police officer in burma so chiefly it's an autobiographical essay that reveals the views of orwell about imperialism and its negative impacts and futility the essay begins with a description of the hatred he felt surrounding him in the town of burma where he works as the sub divisional police officer and because he is a military occupier or say a representative of british government he is hated by most of the village people though the burmese never stage a full revolt but they express their disgust by taunting orwell at every opportunity and this situation provokes two conflicting responses in orwell on the one hand his role makes him despise the british empire's systematic uh, ill treatment or say mistreatment of its subjects the natives of burma or the colonized and on the other hand he resents the locals because of the treatment or because of how they torment him orwell is caught between considering the british raj an unbreakable tyranny and believing that killing a troublesome villager would be the greatest joy in the world then one day an incident uh, takes place that shows orwell the real nature of imperialism although that incident uh, is a minor one but it has major implications so i am just narrating this that incident to you uh, it goes like this orwell received information from a burmese sub inspector that an elephant had gone amak amak means must and he was ravaging the bazaar and he has even killed an indian coolie orwell immediately set out with a small rifle to see what was happening he came to know that it was not a wild elephant but a tamed one who had gone must and his owner the mahavat had set out in pursuit but he had taken the wrong direction now here we see that orwell uses words like bazaar must mahavat and all these are hindi words and this shows the impact of indian language and culture on his writing style because as we know that orwell was born in india and has also spent the first few years of his childhood in india only and this double identity creates a complex relationship of the author with imperialism also although a european a machine to perform imperial will he fully sympathizes with the natives of burma so okay then what happens orwell goes to the neighborhood where the elephant was last spotted the neighborhood's inhabitants give uh, conflicting reports that orwell nearly concludes that the whole thing is just a story but then suddenly he hears a roar nearby and round the corner find a coolie an indian laborer lying dead in the mud um 
he was crushed and skinned alive by the elephant or will orders a subordinate then to bring him a gun strong enough to shoot an elephant or will subordinate returns with the gun and the villagers of uh, uh, informed orwell that the elephant is in a nearby field so he was able to locate it orwell walks to the field and a large group of people follows him the town's people have seen the gun and they are excited to see the elephant shot orwell feels uncomfortable because actually uh, because he actually had not planned to shoot the elephant he has ordered for the um, gun just for his own safety or for in any um, uh, such circumstances when he has to use the uh, gun but then what happens the group comes upon the elephant in the field eating uh, the elephant was eating grass and he was quite peaceful orwell realizes that he should not shoot it besides shooting a full grown elephant is just like destroying an expensive machinery so after coming to this conclusion orwell looks at the assembled crowd now numbering in thousands more than 2000 people are there and he realizes that they expect him to shoot the elephant as if part of a theatrical performance the true cost of white westerners conquest of the orient or will realizes is the white man's freedom the colonizers are puppets bound to fulfill their subjects expectations so here he is just like a puppet uh, in the hands of those burmese those natives those colonized people orwell has to shoot the elephant or otherwise he will be laughed at by the villagers an outcome which he finds intolerable and so the best course of action orwell decides would be to approach the elephant and see how it responds but to do this would be dangerous and might set orwell up to be humiliated in front of the villagers so in order to avoid this unacceptable embarrassment orwell must kill the beast he he decides this and he aims the gun where he thinks the elephant's brain is orwell fires and the crowd erupts in excitement the elephant sinks to its knees and begins to drool orwell fires again and again and the elephant's appearance worsens but still it does not collapse after a third shot the elephant trumpets and falls rattling the ground where it lands the suffering elephant continues to breathe orwell fires more but the bullets have no effect the elephant is obviously in agony and orwell uh, watches the elephant powerless to move and yet powerless to die he he just uh, uses metaphorically the death of the elephant here this uh, also symbolizes or indicates the powerlessness of british empire and so he uses a, then he uses a smaller rifle to fire more bullets into its throat but when this does nothing or will leaves the scene because he is unable to watch the beast suffer and then he later hears that it took the elephant half an hour to die and villagers strip the meat off of its bones shortly thereafter and then there is talk of the town different opinions are given by different people orwell's choice to kill the elephant was controversial the elephant's owner was very angry but as he is an indian he had no legal uh, recourse or he he had no say the older british agreed with orwell's choice but the younger colonists thought it was inappropriate to kill an elephant just because it killed a kuli 
since they think elephants are more valuable than coolies or will notes that he is lucky the elephant killed a man because it gave his own actions legal justification and finally or will wonders if any of his comrades understood that he killed the elephant solely to avoid looking a fool and with these words these lines he concludes the essay so students this is the summary of the essay shooting an elephant and uh, the incident is quite enlightening it's a minor incident with major implication it dramatizes the real nature of imperialism through this incident orwell reveals the true nature of imperialism its horrible face and how uh, um, futile it is then orwell's relationship with imperialism is complex this i have already uh, told you the reason that because he was born in india and uh, obviously he has attachment um, with this country uh, a sort of double identity problem double identity crisis then conflict of loyalties psychological conflict and firm belief finally that imperialism is an evil otherwise also um, orwell believes in equality of man he believes in freedom for all and he uh, was a great humanist so that is why uh, his views are that or his firm belief is that imperialism is an evil then there are important lines in this essay like uh, when the white man turns tyrant it is his own freedom that he destroys because when you bound someone with uh, chain then the other end of that chain bounds you also another important line is i often wondered whether any of the others grasped others means his comrades the other people the britishers or you can uh, say that even the burmese that i had done it solely done what killing the elephant just because to avoid looking a fool in front of the natives so that's all for today students thank you